Subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon to never miss an update from Cotillia's Fincast. Welcome to Cotillia's Fincast from the 1st of August to the 31st of August 2020. Let's begin with corporate news. Aiming to give a competition to YouTube, Facebook introduced official music videos on the platform and introduced a new music destination on Facebook Watch in India that would let people view their favorite music videos. Geo Platforms Limited, a subsidiary of RIL announced that it added almost 10 million users in the first quarter and posted a 183% yearly growth in net profit at 2,520 crore rupees for the first quarter. A CC bank cut its lending rates by 10 bits per second across all tenors under the MCLR system. Under the revised rates, the bank's one-year MCLR will come down to 7.45%. The main objective of the initiative was to identify the best Indian apps that are being used by citizen and have potential to scale up and become world-class apps in their respective category. Zomato said it would give female employees up to 10 days of period leave per year, as part of an effort to combat what it said was stigma around the issue. The floor price for the Qualified Institutional Placement QIP, of shares is at a discount of over 3%. The banks issued more than 1 crore debit cards during the peak months of lockdown, amid increased demand for contactless cards. The customers received 1.6 crore new debit cards during peak lockdown period. Billionaire Anil Agarwal controlled Vedanta Resources raised about $1.4 billion in overseas bonds to help fund the proposed delisting of its holding company listed in India. The company offered 13% for the three-year bond. Let's begin with market news. Margin shortage penalty will also be applicable in cash segment. Intraday losses and margins in delivery have to be paid in advance. Delivery payment has to be made in T plus 2 only, but margin has to be kept in advance from now on. The company reported 40.42% year-on-year decline in consolidated net profit at 2,226.80 crore rupees in the first quarter of FY21. Shares of Bundan Bank slumped over 9% after a huge block deal which saw 345.6 million shares changing hands in bunch trade. The low is of 313 rupees and 10 paise on BSE in the session so far. Foreign portfolio investors invested a net 7,842 crore rupees in equities and 485 crore rupees in the debt segment between August 3-6. The company reported a net loss of 864 crore rupees on a standalone basis in the quarter ended June due to increased provisioning for standard accounts. The handset manufacturing industry expects to recruit some 50,000 direct employees by December end, with the production-linked incentive scheme starting to move the hiring machines for the likes of Foxconn, Wistron, Samsung, Dixon and Lava. U.S. asset manager T. Rowe Price is set to increase its stake in UTI trustee company to 51% from 26%, a move that will put the firm in the driver's seat at the country's eighth-largest mutual fund. Let's begin with economy news. Finance Minister has allowed loans for larger firms and professionals including doctors and lawyers for the business purposes within the scope of emergency credit line guarantee scheme and increased the annual turnover ceiling under the scheme to 250 crore rupees. In another blow to Indian techies and tech companies, H-1B visa application fee will increase from October 2, 2020. The final rule will increase fees for non-immigrant work visas effective October this year. The manufacturing output in July contracted at a faster pace than in June, signaling local lockdowns imposed across the country by state governments amid demand slump as impacting business activities at the national level. The government will soon introduce a taxpayer's charter in the Income Tax Act with statutory backing, which will contain their rights as well as obligations, to ensure fairness for all assessors. Movement in the FCA occurs mainly on account of purchase or sale of foreign exchange by the RBI, income arising out of the deployment of foreign exchange reserves, external aid receipts of the government and revaluation of assets. The Central Board of the RBI approved the transfer of 57,128 crore rupees as dividend to the central government for FY20, while deciding to maintain the contingency risk buffer at 5.5%. 
60% of loans under moratorium, which make for about 4-8% of the banking sector loan book could seek restructuring under the RBI special window. The Monetary Authority has already front-loaded repo rate cuts as part of attempts to revive the economy, without success. Since the pandemic, RBI has lowered the repo rate by 115 bits per second. <laughs>